Hi, my name is Julie Ursi, Solution Advisor Leonardo and Analytics at SAP. In this video, I want to show you how to integrate in real time SAP Analytics Cloud, BW for HANA, and S for HANA, as well as demonstrate the huge value the integration can bring to your analytics. S for HANA customers already have very strong embedded analytics in their solution for operational reporting. However, for many analytical use cases, they still need modern data warehousing capabilities to cope with historical data, for example, for comparison and trend identification, and data from other data sources, like unstructured data or data from external sources such as social media and IoT. PW for HANA is a natural extension to S for HANA to provide these capabilities and therefore complements S4 embedded analytics. Connecting to S4 directly with BW4 has several important advantages. First of all, you can leverage your S4 CDS views and provide your users with advanced analytics possibilities to complement the operational embedded analytics. You can simply reuse the business logic implemented already in the S4 system, avoiding double maintenance and risk of inconsistencies. Secondly, you can combine and enrich live S4 data with other data sources, like big data or data coming from other solutions like CRM or HR. Also, BW4 allows you to access data in real time, instead of duplicating your data or waiting for data loads to finish, which often are a huge frustration for both IT and business in traditional data warehouses. And lastly, you can take advantage of the rich functionalities the data warehouse in BW4 offers. Currency and unit conversion, time dependency, slowly changing dimensions, to name a few. And of course, all the HANA advantages uh, HANA advanced analytics engines like Graph, Spatial and Predictive that allow you to get more value out of your data. Now that we have a live connection to all the S4 data through BW4, SAC can add even more value by connecting live to all the enriched data in BW4. By connecting live to BW4, you can leverage your BW investment and provide your users with analytics beyond data discovery. VEX queries can be reused and all its functionalities can be consumed in SAC, like hierarchies, variables, or structures. The direct query consumption avoids data replication, avoiding data duplication and inconsistencies. You can access data in real time, including the S4 data through the direct connection in BW4, but also archive data in nearline storage or big data in a data lake. On top of that, you keep your data safe behind your firewall. No sensitive data will be exposed to the internet as data is sent directly from BW to your browser, never touching the cloud. By reusing the existing authorization concepts, you do not have to rebuild the authorizations and maintain them double. With BW4, you have the ability to connect to SAP BW queries as well as generated HANA views, providing the best of both worlds, ABAP and SQL. So I what I want to do in a demo is to show you how the integration between SAC, S4 and BW4 is set up and some key advantages of using this live connection. First of all, we can connect live to S4 HANA with SAP Analytics Cloud through BW4 to analyze the data in real time. We will then enrich the S4 data by adding information from other data sources. This can be SAP and non-SAP data even unstructured data coming from Twitter feeds or Hadoop. In this case, I will simply add a hierarchy to the data from S4. On top of that, we can change the data on the fly to show the ease and the simplification of the BW4 modern data warehouse. We see in real time how the data visualizations in SAC adopt the changes in BW4. Let's start the demo. Let's first take a look at the CDS view in S4. The CDS view is a view built on several tables in S4, combining information that is then used in the embedded analytics of S4. Since we already built all the logic in S4, we want to reuse what we built here in BW4. In BW4, we will create then a live connection to this CDS view, avoiding double work. We open the BW modeling perspective to look up the data flow connecting to the CDS view.
we can explore the data flow that is built to connect to the CDS view. At the bottom, we will see the S4 source system. In the S4 system, we identify then the CDS view. At this point, we have only specified the data source, nothing is built yet. Now we come to the first layer, the OpenODS view connecting directly to the CDS view. On top of that, we build a composite provider that can combine the OpenODS view with the CDS view data with another data source, SAP or non-SAP. In the OpenODS view, we see all the fields that are selected from the CDS view for BW4. We have linked the field airline with an existing BW object that comes from another data source and contains additional information, text, attributes, and a hierarchy. In addition to this enrichment of the S4 data, we can also benefit from the advanced analytical engines inside of the HANA platform that can be leveraged in the BW4 system. We could, for example, use the predictive engine to analyze the customers of our airline to see where a new marketing campaign could have the most impact. The composite provider allows us to not only enrich with master data, but also combine with other data sources that could add value to the S4 data. W queries, also known as BEX queries, allow for additional business logic such as variables, calculations, structures, and all of these functionalities can be reused later when we connect to BW4 Live with SAC. On top of that, all of the BW4 authorizations can be leveraged in SAC as well. As already mentioned, when we use a live connection from SAC, we can leverage all the rich functionalities from the BW4 system and on top of that, we use the existing authorizations. The data remains secure as it is never transferred to the cloud. We can now change the hierarchy on the fly and we see the result immediately reflected in our SAC story as well. 
This shows the simplification and ease of modeling in the BW4 Modern Data Warehouse. Changes in the system now take days instead of weeks or months in a traditional data warehouse. This allows IT to respond much faster to changing business requirements, which is a key success factor in this new digital era. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.